Yo, it's a disaster in that shit. Line up outside to get inside, and when you get inside, there's another line. You guys are dropping stuff in. There's another fucking line up to fucking get a number. And then when you get the fucking number, you gotta wait. The only problem is they have all the appointments are walking in, coming in front, bro. I was number 11. I was there from, it's open at 9. I was there before 9, bro. And they only did 10 people before fucking 9 o'clock, bro. The, all the others were appointments. And then, like, appointments coming in and just right in front of you, you know? And I would have made an appointment, but they were closed yesterday, so I couldn't. And my fucking shit just expired, bro. On my birthday, I completely fucking forgot about that, bro. And I just rented a fucking truck to move my stuff in the fucking stores in case these pieces of shit lock me up for letting women in first. With this sick fucking shit, bro. The best scenario is I move the stuff in the stores, they let me go in, and I come back and remove again back into place. But my girl can't move the stuff, so I have to do it. Because if they, they say guilty on the spot, take me to jail, my girl can't do it. Like, she can't move none of the fridge to bed, none of that shit. So I have to do it. I mean, I can't leave it on her, you know? Yo, that shit's fucked up, bro. It's for letting women in first at the stop, bro. And piece of shit fucking slamming doors on me, almost hitting me. You're not going to get upset some piece of shit tries to hit you with a bus and slamming doors on you when you're letting women in first, bro? Yo, and it's always for doing the right thing. That is doing the right thing, letting the women in first, you know? The bus was on the red light. Where's it going to go anyways, you know? Yo, some sick shit, bro.